Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to episode two of uh, the economy. <clears throat> excuse me, the economy mini series. Uh, in this episode, we are going to implement the commands. Now, um, I know that this is probably pretty boring for a lot of you because um, in two other videos I've already covered this, so I kind of want to uh, go through it quickly and. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through it pretty quickly because you guys already know how to do this, but uh, we do need to get it done, and I figure I might as well put it in for the people that don't know how to do it. Um, the commands that we are going to have are... Um, there we go. We're going to just have the default one. We'll just tell you uh, the default will just tell you that your balance the uh, there will be a command to add to your balance and to remove from your balance and those uh, last two commands will of course be permission restricted okay, um. Okay, so implements command executor and basically, so we have our command manager because we're going to instantiate it in our main class and we're going to set all of the, uh, we're going to set the command and we're going to register, we're going to do all these different things. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have our public void on command with command sender sender, command cmd. Oh yes, that's one thing that I forgot. So let's just rename this from command to uh, eco command because bucket has its command <clears throat> excuse me and it's uh, easier to go for that there we go okay string uh, whatever what is it called I can even go here oh yeah command label arrays command label and string array args and we always want it to return true First, let's go ahead and check if exclamation point sender instance of player sender dot send message you can use these commands. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that back because the console could add and remove from the money, but they just can't check it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. So what we're going to go ahead and say is if args.length is equal to zero, uh, if sender instance of player, player p equals player sender, and then we're going to say p.send message green and then we'll just say um, your balance is dollars and then here we would use settings manager dot get instance dot get balance for p because we made that nice uh, method and then down here we're going to go ahead and write sender dot send message um, sorry we're gonna say Actually, no, we're going to go ahead and say for command, for eco command cmd, cmds, uh, we already have cmd, so we'll just call it c, uh, sender dot send message, c dot get name, or we'll just do um, slash eco, oh, that's right, we forgot that slash eco uh, plus c dot get name c dot get uh, args dash c dot get description so the command class will have a name field args field and description field and then um, it will also have the run 
method. So then we'll just go ahead and do that. And then at the very bottom, we'll write return. So basically, what we're doing is we're saying if there are no args, if the sender's a player, then we're going to send them their balance. But for anyone, we're also going to send them uh, the description, the usage for all of the different commands. So the one thing that I forgot to do is we want to say if ignore case echo because our we're just gonna make our command uh, echo. So if args that length equals zero, whatever. So we've taken so we can now assume that there's well we now know that there's more than one. So we can just go ahead and say uh, arraylist string args equals new arraylist string arrays dot as list args. So we're basically, oh wait, we're going to call this, um, we'll just call it A. We're creating a new array list and we're initializing it with, um, we're giving it the argument arrays.asList, which will take this uh, args and it will put it as a list. So then we're going to go ahead and say a.remove0, because if they type like slash eco give, or eco add pogo stick 2920, we want to get rid of the add, and then we can go ahead and say um, for eco command c cmds if c dot get name dot equals ignore case args zero. Yes, that would be right. So for eco command c cmds c dot get name dot equals in our case arg zero c dot run a dot to array new string array a dot a dot size. What we're doing is we're turning uh, this array list of strings into an array, uh, but for some reason I don't know why array list. Um, the default to array method, if you don't give it anything, it, it returns an array of objects. So if you want it to return array of, um, like, so for this is an array list of strings, so if you want it to return a string array, you need to instantiate a string array and set the size of that string array to be equal to the size of the array list. I don't know why you have to do that, and it's not really very important. So, so if the name is correct, alright, and then... So we'll just go ahead and say it will run, and then return true. Or actually, what we have to do is we need to say try c.run catch exception e. And now we'll just go ahead and say sender.send message check fully that red, and it will say an error has occurred. And then e dot print stack trace. That's all what we're gonna do for this. And finally, I think down here we want to say sender dot send message. Probably dot red uh, invalid command. That should work. I don't think that's the way that I usually do it, but I'm not gonna go checking. So let's go ahead and declare this as an abstract class. Sorry about that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and have our public eco command uh, string nah, string name. What else do we need? String uh, desk for description and string dot 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 of uh, or sorry, it's just a string actually. So a string called args private string name dash args. This dot name equals name dot desk equals desk. This dot args equals args. Cool. Public string get name turn name. Public string get descript get description return desk. Public string get args turn args and finally public abstract void run and basically I think that we already want to, oh and run is actually going to take a uh, string uh, array of args
Okay. So, uh, again, the fact that it's abstract means that any class that extends eco command requires uh, a run method that takes the parameter string array of args. So we're going to go ahead and make two. We're going to give, uh, we're going to do, or rather than give, let's just call them add and remove. So add extends uh, eco command. Now when you do this, you need to, uh, there are two parts that you need for this public uh, add, and we're going to say super add, add money to balance, and then it'll be player amount. So when we call super, we're going up to the super class, which is eco command, we're passing it uh, a name, which is add, a description, which is add money to balance, and the arguments are it takes the player and the amount of money. Finally, we need our public void run string array of args. So then we're going to go ahead and say, okay, public void run string array of args. Um, so we'll say if args.length is less than two, because uh, we need it to be at least Two. Oh, and one other thing we need is uh, command sender sender. And remember, we're using a command sender and not a player in this case because um, the play like the console can add and remove money. So we don't need to. Uh, we don't want to restrict it to the player when we don't need to. Command sender sender. Okay. So if args.length are is less than two, sender dot send message chat color dot red, uh, you did not enter enough args uh, return. Import chat color. All right. Um, so then we'll go ahead and say check on this time. All right. So we're doing fine. So player p int mnt and then we're going to go ahead and say try uh well, well we can actually just say player p equals bucket dot get server dot get online dot get player for args uh zero actually and then we're going to say if p is equal to null sender dot message Chat color dot red, and we'll say that player is not online. And writing this right now, I do realize it would probably be better for the uh, settings manager to take a string which represents the name instead of an actual player object, or you could uh, overload it. It's not really important. But uh, let's just leave it like this for now. So we're going to say try amnt equals integer dot parse int args one patch exception. E sender dot send message chat code dot red plus invalid number and return. Pretty standard. We're just attempting to get uh, an integer from the uh, from the second argument, which is the amount. And if it doesn't work, then we're just telling them that it doesn't work. So at this point, we now know that we have a valid player and we also have a valid amount. So you could do a few things here, like you could check if amount is greater than, if it's less than zero, then you would probably want to do something about that. But what we'll go ahead and do is we will say uh, settings manager dot get instance dot add balance for p and amount, and remember add balance uh, does set balance, which calls save. So uh, it does. Uh, automatically save. And then finally we will go ahead and say uh, sender dot send message chat color dot green and we'll just make this easy. We will say uh, added amount balance to p dot get name. And then we'll say space. They now have and then we'll just make this nice. We'll say uh, settings Manager dot get instance dot get balance for p, and we probably want to put dollars. Oops, dollars. So 
So we're just telling them uh, they added the amount to the player, and that player now has whatever amount they have. And so that's basically all we need for add. Now we're going to go ahead and um, copy add, and we're just going to call it remove because it's pretty much the same thing. So remove, remove money from balance player amount, uh, amount, blah, blah, blah. And then finally, all we all we really need to say is um, dot remove balance player amount, and we'll say uh, removed balance amount. And actually, I don't know why it says yeah. Added five dollars, whatever. Two added, removed five dollars from player. I can name the now below. All right, so remove and add both work. Now I did promise you that I would give, uh, I would do permission nodes. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Uh, if exclamation point uh, sender dot has permission, uh, economy twenty nine dot add uh, sender dot send message. And remember that the console uh, has. Uh, full permission to do any command that they want. And we're just going to say you can't use this command. And then we'll just go ahead and copy add and we'll, we'll copy that and we'll put it right up here and this will be removed. Now when we get around to or when I get around to making the uh, config.yml or sorry the plugin.yml I will register those commands uh, those uh, listen uh, permissions. Alright, and uh, you guys know how to do that. So cmds.add new add, cmds.add new remove. Import. So there we go. Now the last thing that we need to do in this video, which is uh, getting to be pretty long right now, is after we set up the settings manager, we want to go ahead and say um, command manager cm equals new command now, in the old uh, plugins, we used to have to call a setup method, but now that's in the, that's in, in the uh, constructor, so we actually we don't really need to worry about that. We can because when when it gets instantiated, it automatically uh, configures it automatically adds all the commands. So we just need to go ahead and say uh, get command uh, echo dot set executor cm. And since uh, Command Manager implements Command Executor, that will work. Alright guys, that is all for this episode. I know it wasn't the most exciting, but we needed to get it out of the way. Uh, settings Manager is done saving and loading player data. Uh, Command Manager is done adding, removing, and checking balance. So uh, next up is uh, Vault Integration, which I, will, I actually need to look into uh, how to do that. Uh, I will figure it out, and we're going to add some basic Vault integration so you can add, remove, and uh, get money through Vault. That's going to be pretty cool. Now, after that, I think, let me just, I'll go ahead and check my notes, because I know that I got at least one other uh, request. So let's just take a look. Yeah, so all of these things here are um, things that I'm, are uh, topics that I'm eventually going to cover. I know that someone mentioned something about economy. It was, I think someone wanted me to do a scoreboard with top economy. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, I can do it. If you guys have any other questions about uh, economy, because all I really have planned now is uh, vault integration, and then I think we're going to move on to permissions. So if you guys have anything else that you want to do with this plugin, please let me know in the comments so I can plan for it. And uh, that's all. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. I will be back soon uh, with another and possibly the last video of this mini-series. And I will see you guys soon. Have a nice day.